And that really, Diane and Joanne, is a sign of what is going on. You know, this is Maxar Studios. They just held their grand opening two weeks ago, even though they've been operating kind of under the radar for the last year or so. But now they say everything is up in the air because of what the governor announced, the $25 million cap. I'd call it a collective twilight zone is what it is, um, because there's this, this sea of uncertainty. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I mean, they've got projects and producers who want to come, who are about to come, who are ready to apply, and they're going, well, uh, I guess i got to research Louisiana. I guess i got to research Connecticut. Ken Rose is a consultant for Maxar Studios after working for the Michigan Film Office in Lansing until last fall. He says the whole film business in Michigan is now in a state of flux after the governor's announcement that they are cutting back the tax credits that brought movies like Scream 4 and Red Dawn to our state. We had 50 projects last year filmed here, 52 the year before, $300 million spent, and that now for a $25 million cap, that equalizes a production spend of about $75 million, which is one-fourth of the activity we had last year. Marvel has apparently canceled shooting a big budget superhero movie starring Robert Downey Jr. called The Avengers in Michigan because the tax breaks are now in question. Maxar is hosting a town hall meeting Thursday night at 730 to try and set the stage for what should happen next. It's not a rally, it's not a protest, but it's going to be a civil town meeting <clears throat> of informational and organizational purposes to let people know what they can do from here on out. And so that's going to be happening right here at Maxar Studios because it's large enough that they can hold that sort of town hall meeting. One of the things they'll be doing is letting people know how they can get in touch with the state legislators who will be making this decision. It is not final yet. It has to be passed. And they say that maybe people haven't spoken out enough about how much they want to keep those film tax credits. Obviously, everything's still in flux at this moment, although the film office has told a number of people, apparently, that they're going to start instituting that $25 million cap for this fiscal year, which is what really has them worried. Reporting live, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7 Action News. All right.